in my wood lot, nice spring day. Not here to cut wood, although I'll take a couple pieces to make something. But uh, just kind of seeing what's going on here. Kind of clear in this section. But uh, my son's is across that way. Mine is this way. My section. I got my little Corona. Corona saw. Got some small pieces. I'll make something out of that. Nice time. Just uh, seeing what's going on. Driving in on a little dirt road they have through it to make sure it's clear. I had to clear a couple things. Want to make sure things good. But uh, when I come in, I'll get my saw sharpened up, and I'll. Uh, I got a big oak in the back. Maybe I'll show you after. So that's what I'm doing here. Beautiful spring day. Kind of. It was 39 this morning, but it's going to hit like 62 today, so it's getting warm. Bugs are coming out, so it's going to Eskimo, fair rod. Take care. My truck is right there, still running.
Heine Strobus today at the woodlot. It's a pleasure to deal with green wood. Because I'm killing myself. Got a ways to go, but uh, be nice and thin. Be good. These are the tools I use, but I also used a uh, steel hatchet slash hunter's axe and uh, more 105. And then this is a nice beaver craft that hollows this out. Nice tool right here. There's the sheath for it. These I use a cans ball for everything and uh, and a steel axe. I use a steel axe for all of them, but uh, that's about it. And uh, and I did use a beefcraft hook knife a little bit. So, yeah. And raw linseed oil. So that's what I used. Take care. Well, it's a white pine spoon from my first piece of wood. Uh, it's all from the same branch. These are all from the same branch. Um, I have three more pieces of the branch to make this very thin, very nice. Uh, you know, I'm starting to make it my thin spooner. Got a little chlorosing there with footprints and snowshoe. This one is very funky looking because this was the same branch but had branches all sticking out at the end. I just decided I would save it anyways. I didn't mark these yet, but uh, very thin. Nice, but uh, nothing fancy. Um, and then this one, another shard of wood. Somewhat of a cowl design, but it wasn't deep enough. And I might reshape this part because it's a little off kilter. And I didn't mark it yet, but uh, it has a little ridge on the back there. But uh, these are all from uh, one branch going to my woodlot it blocked the, the road so I cut a couple pieces off it but uh, that's what I'm working on so uh, and it was green so it's nice to work with green wood I usually don't have a chance to do that nor with white pine too often you know there's because I don't cut it out there but the branch came down but um, that's what's going on so um I got three more pieces in there. You know, just, I cut them in half. And I put a couple in the freezer. I usually don't have a chance to do that because I want to keep it uh, good. I oiled with raw linseed oil this one twice. And uh, I think I'll oil this one again, right there. And then the small one I, I might, uh, now normally, traditionally, um, Said outdoors had this guy named his last name was Thomas from Herefordshire in England. The handle should be much longer, but this was just a shard of wood, and I didn't want to throw it out. So, do I pick perfect pieces of wood? Make no, I take whatever stuff I see laying around. Sometimes and I say I could make something out of it, you know. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a different design. It, it whoops, sorry. It should come up. Where my finger is here, it should come up more of an angle. Probably would have been better off if I made it on that angle and used the cowl around, but uh, just messing around. It's functional, very thin, which is nice. Should be much deeper, but uh, I'll work on that. But uh, I think I'm a little tartan down there. One of them. But um, yeah, and see a lot of white pine carbon out there. You know, I have plenty of birch, plenty of cherry. Most of the time, not green, so it's a little tough. But um, um, I do it anyways, and it's tougher. But it was a pleasure doing this white pine. So, um, 
So there you go. I'm always doing spoons. Um, always doing something with spoons. But, uh, and I have some other stuff where I was walking around in different places, my wood lot in different places. But, uh, so just take you along, show you what I'm doing. But, uh, if you're just, I am consider myself a, a, a beginner. So I, um, look at all these different people. I so, said, yeah, maybe I'll try that. I'll try that different techniques like L spoons or Woods Magic or something like that, which is kind of local. Wouldn't mind giving them some wood once in a while. But anyways, um, yeah, so it's kind of fun. Uh, so give it a try. Try something like a nice green white pine to work with. So even with a cook, so. So, so it's Quinny Esmo Fair Rod. Peace and victory. And uh, feed them. Just kick back, man, you know. Don't get too worried. Thank God for another day.